house? The ego house is a group of ten people all living together in this little house. Kind of like a, a very large family. I guess a few different aspects to our living together. And we have house meetings and we have house dinners. And we really try to integrate getting to know each other and doing this communal living and also keep in mind environmental issues and how things like that impact the campus as well as our daily lives. Um, I'm Lexi, and I'm a sophomore, and um, this is obviously my first year living in the house. Um, and the reason I wanted to live here is a lot of different reasons. I've always been interested in environmental issues. Um, other than that, communal living is something, I think this is a really unique setup because it's such, it's an incredibly shared space, but there's 10 people, and I think most houses have less people. conflicts like a family you know I think that's kind of the goal of a co-op to get things done without um, you know not hurting anyone but like keeping the community positive and I think it's taught me a lot that will help me moving forward in terms of just working with other people um, about things that we all care about but learning that everyone is coming from a really different place so even if you're reaching for a common goal it can take a lot of time and a lot of talking and just understanding to reach it. It's fall of 2006. Um, Katie Epstein approached me about the third week of the semester and was wondering if there had ever been a co-op on campus. I had lived in a co-op as an undergraduate, so I was very interested in the idea. And that's where it started in that first year, um, the year that Katie Epstein was a first-year student. She and a group of people, mostly first-year students, but also Keely Dubois, who was a junior at the time, I want to say. When the students first came up with the idea for the Eco House, I was a junior, um, and I had some experience dealing with administration, and so I help them navigate the process of applying to have an eco-house um, and make sure that they attract all the right people. And they got an eco-house. And so for me, one of the most impressive things about that whole first year is that it was entirely student-driven. They established all the structures that they needed for the house in terms of cooking and buying food and keeping the house clean and setting weekly meetings doing everything that he was doing, wanted to do. Really excited me to see the way that this year's house has really made it their own and taken initiatives to create new things like the tea times and different opportunities to reach out to the campus. Um, and so it's really exciting because my year was the second year and we built off of the year before us and did things a little differently in our own way. And this year I can see the house taking what they saw from our experience in the year before us and really incorporating that into something new and even better um, and I think every year the house has gotten more and more committed to environmental issues both in terms of what happens at the house and living sustainably but also in terms of programming and outreach in the house but what type of stuff do they do in the gas? to have a zero problem. Sustainable development and conservation is what goes on there, as well as wonderful parking. Go on, go back, go back to where you don't belong, back to everybody lost so We have a vegetable garden that we constructed. Cook for ourselves. We compost. We set up the fire alarms. We clean the house. We time our showers for water usage. And we go green tea times. We have an energy generating bike. We try to make the house itself more sustainable. We love each other. I feed in full. I'm purchased a full pig from Wild Turkey Farms. We all compile a certain amount of money, so our finances are essentially combined. And each week, a couple of us go shopping for food. We actually go shopping about three times a week at different places. 
this year, we are also trying to have a larger presence on campus. Um, a lot of people don't know what the Eco House is or where the, where the Eco House is. Um, so a large part of my job is coordinating with RLO and getting the word out to the campus about what we're doing and events we're having. Um, I work getting events that um, reach out to the campus and also to the Davidson community. And so something that we've been working on this semester that's pretty big is our green tea time. Every other week on Friday afternoons, we get together to talk about something um, of environmental concern or that's happening in the news recently. So some examples are, um, we had one on environmentally safe beauty products and cosmetics. Um, which was really great. We had some freshman girls come. I know that organic food is a big movement and the whole idea there is you're eating fewer toxins so it's better for your body, but actually toxins are absorbed through your skin eight times more than eating. We had one about meat and alternatives to meat and what the best ones to eat and buy are. This week we have a mountaintop removal movie that we're watching in the Union in conjunction with BAC. We go out and we do events on campus to really try to introduce students to the Eco House as well as sustainable efforts they can do in their everyday life that helps just not their self but the whole world. CSA box and tomatoes from Barbie Farms made some tomato sauce this morning. Um, so like we had some zucchini and different kinds of cheeses we've got at the farmer's market and peppers from actually from Commons Garden. I think that the most important things I've learned so far, the impact that eating local foods has um, and what brands are ethical to buy what and what aren't, and also just uh, how to prepare things that I've never eaten before. I mean, yeah, it's become a part of my lifestyle more. And at first I was thinking to myself, like, gosh, this is gonna be a cool experiment for a year, but like, I don't think I'll ever be able to keep this up, you know? And now, even after a few months, I feel a lot more like I could keep this up because I'm learning how to take it as a part of my life. 